For the month of October, it's October 28th, and this is for our elementary kids. So elementary boys and girls, be sure to grab your folder and your packet and get ready for our last session of Together on Wednesdays. Here we go. Okay, grab your sticks again. We're gonna do that same activity that we did. And let's sing our gathering song before we start all that. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And I'm happy that we are together. So stand up and move around. Here we go.
with three beads, we do floor, shoulder, together, or table, down, shoulder, here, down, shoulder, here, down, shoulder, here, down, shoulder, here, okay? That's the first one. And then the second one is different because it has four. today. The challenge is for you to get out your sheet for your Bible verse today, your elementary Bible verse, and I want you to write your elementary Bible verse today without even looking at it. Don't look at it where you have it hanging in your home. 
Just see if you can write it all by yourself. And I bet that you can. Let's say it together one last time and then you write it and send me a picture when you do so we can see that you have learned your Bible verse for this month. Let's say it together one last time now. Love the Lord with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Mark 12, 30. I look forward to seeing how well you can write your Bible verse this week. Now, boys and girls, look what I have with me now. Does anybody know what this is? That's right, it's a clock. And I bet a lot of you have learned how to tell time on clocks similar to this. This one isn't quite the right time, but I bet you know how to tell times on clocks similar to this. Or maybe you know how to look at your phone or your mom and dad's phone and know what time it is. So we keep clocks because time is important to us. We are often set on a schedule so that we know where to be and when to be there. Well, sometimes when we know what time we're supposed to do something, it can make us become impatient. That's right, we don't want to be very patient, meaning we don't want to wait. We don't want to wait for the next thing to happen or we don't want to have to just sit there and do nothing and it makes us very impatient. But did you know that the Bible tells us that one of the fruits of the Spirit is patience. You see, when people see us being patient and when God gives us patience, waiting isn't so hard to do. You know, I bet this week you are ready to get dressed up for dress up day and get some candy. I bet it's hard to be patient and wait for that time to come this week. But you know what? God gives us patience through his spirit. And we can be patient in waiting on him. And he will help us do that. So let's thank him that he gives us that. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you so much that we can be patient, that you're patient with us, and that we can be patient as we wait in your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls. Now it is time for our missions moment. Are you ready for our last mission moment for the month of October? Well, this month of October, we have not gone very far, have we, on our globe. If you pull out your globe, you can look right here where we are in Shelby, North Carolina. And you can look that we don't even leave the yellow when we learn about Mike Palmer, our cowboy church missionary, and how he spreads the gospel there where he is. You can see that we stay right there in the yellow. Now, last month we traveled all the way across the world to learn about missions, but this month we stayed right here in our country. This reminds me that missions can happen anywhere we are. We can go across the world to share God's love, or we can stay right here in our country and show God's love. However we do it, it's very important that we take the opportunity to share God's love with other people, like the people at the Cowboy Church. So boys and girls, I would like you to take your piece of paper from your folder that looks like this, and I would like you to write your prayer for the people at the Cowboy Church so that they can share the love of Jesus with the people there. Now, you've learned lots of new things about the Cowboy Church this year. And I want you to be able to share, share in prayer for them and things that they might need in prayer for as they are trying to lead people to Christ there as they share to the people at the radios. All right, so you do that and be faithful to pray for them as they're going to need it this week. Now, Miss Emily's going to come and we're going to finish our session for today. Okay, so you have your activities that you're going to do 
and your music is fruity fun. So see what fruity fun, fruity fun, fruity fun is about. And then Miss Missy has some other activities for our last week four in there too, okay? So let's close our session out with our prayer and our closing song. May God go before you to lead you. May God go behind you to guard you. May God go beneath you for support. May God go beside you as your friend. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. God is with you. Everywhere you go, do not be afraid. God is with you. Everywhere you go, God is there. All right, bye bye. We'll see you next week.